guys, I'm Crystal and Aiselemin from the Batanga State University, Alangilan Campus, taking Bachelor of Science in Information Technology from the section IT2105. This video is all about the class activity. It is just an operating system instruction. So, this activity is about the voice command. So, we need to use our voice to command the car. So, we need to tell something that a car will do. So, so let me first read the instructions for this activity. So, in this activity, imagine that you are employed as an engineer for a car manufacturing company. The company is currently working on a new car model. This model will have selected functions that can be controlled by the driver giving specific voice commands. So, design a set of commands used by this voice activated control system and identify how they are going to be executed. So, the functions of the car that can be controlled by the voice commands are the lights, wipers, radio, telephone set, air conditioning, and the ignition. So, the first one is the light. So, if I want to turn on the lights, so my voice command will be car lights turn on. Then, the lights of the car will be turned on. Then, if I want to turn it off, so my voice command will be car lights turn off. Then, the lights of the car will be turned off. So, the second one is the wipers. So, imagine that you are driving a car. Then, suddenly it rains. So, you need to wipe the, the water. So, my voice command in turning on the wipers is car wipers activate. Then, if I want to stop, my voice command will be car wipers deactivate. The third one is the radio. So, while you are driving, you want to uh, listen to the music in the radio. Uh, you have to turn on the radio. So, my voice command for the radio is car radio turn on. Then, the radio will be turned on. Then, if I want to turn it off, my voice command will be car radio turn off. The fourth one is the telephone set. So if you need to use the telephone set, my voice command will for the telephone set will be car telephone set pop up. So that is my command to start the telephone set. So, so if I don't want and I'll finish, then my voice command, my next voice command is car telephone set pop down. The fifth is the air conditioning. So, after you enter in the car, you want to turn on the air condition. So, my voice command to turn on the air condition is car aircon turn on. Then, the aircon will be turned on. So, the... If I want to turn off the 
aircon, my voice command will be car aircon turned off. The sixth or the last one is the ignition. So after you enter in the car, uh, you need to start the ignition. So uh, my voice command for the ignition is car ignition start. Then the ignition of the car will be will start. So yeah. after I get to my destination. Uh, I will turn off the ignition. So, my voice command will be car ignition stop. So, the car ignition will turn off. So, hello guys. So, this is the other activity for the chapter 2. So, it's entitled, Configure a Switch Virtual Interface. So, configure a switch virtual interface. So, enter interface configuration mode for VLAN 1. Configure the IP V4 address as 192.168.10.2 and the subnet mask as 255.255.255 that zero then enable the interface so the first thing that we will enter is the interface vlan 1 so let's type interface vlan 1 interface interface vlan 1 VLAN 1 then enter then the next thing that we will do is to put the IP address so IP address uh, 192.168.10.2 then the subnet mask 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
then password then we will set the password password then the Cisco Cisco then enter then next thing that we will do is to put then allow login so login then secure the first 16 VTY line so use the password Cisco allow login so uh, we will use a uh, line VTY um, 0 uh, 15 so in programming we start uh, counting at 0 that's why it has 16 ports so we will put 0 to 15 so enter then the password then the password Cisco then enter then we will have a command of login then, enter. then you have successfully limited access to a switch so it is done so let's go to the next activity so the title of this activity is configuring password encryption uh, enter the command to encrypt the plain text passwords so um, we will type is the command service password encryption so we will encrypt our password uh, service password encryption encryption So again, let's put service. Password. Encrypt. Check. Then enter. Then exit global configuration mode and view the running configuration. So, we need to exit first. And then, we are now in the privilege exit mode. So, we will show the running config. So, show running config. Running config. And so, that's all. So, you successfully encrypted the plain text passwords. So next is next activity is the uh, this one activity access methods. So the instruction is select the most appropriate access method for each scenario. So the choices are console, telnet, or SSS. Then the AUX. So number one question is. You are in the equipment room with a new switch that needs to be configured. So, that is console. So, your manager gives you a special cable and tells you to use it to configure the switch. So, that is cable also. Then, you access the iOS by using another intermediary device over a network connection. So, that is telnet. So, the last is, you call your manager to tell him you cannot access your router in another city over the internet. He provides you an information to access the router through a telephone connection. That is the AUX. So, let's check it if our answer is correct. So, let's check. So, it is all correct. So, that's all for this activity. That's all for this video. So, I hope that you learned something. And see you on my next videos.
Yeah.